nema Wewe ni Mungu Wewe ni Mungu Wewe pale akiteseka na kumwaga damu na hakuna mtu yeyote aliyemwelekeza kwa Yesu waliokuja walikuja kumwambia kuna waganga waliokuja kwake walitanzama mashamba aliyokuwa nayo wakamwelekeza kuyauza ili atumie vile fedha kwa jeshi sawa waliokuja kwake walitanzama mali aliyokuwa na huyo mama huyu wakamwelekeza haitumie kwa JCO sawa lakini siku moja akasikia habari za Yesu kwamba hanaweza akajisemea moyoni mwake ya kwamba leo nitaenda hadi nikaliguze vazi lake Yesu ninaweza kuwa sitapata nafasi ya kuongea na ye moja kwa moja ninaweza kuwa sitakuwa na nafasi ya kujelezea kwake kwa sababu sina nafasi hiyo lakini akaamini hata nguo lake Yesu lilaleta uponyaji. Maandiko yanasema akajipa moyo akasonga katikati ya umati wa watu wengi akapenya akaliguza vazi la Yesu na hapo mwanzo wa uponyaji. Ninaongea na wewe unayenitazama na nisikiliza siku ya leo Nikwambie ya kwamba unaweza kubadilisha maisha yako. Unaweza kubadilisha historia yako inayojulikana. Mali yako uliyotumia kwa jia ambayo si halali, jia sio sawa. Ukapata suluhisho kwa huyo Yesu na imleta kwako siku ya leo. I am talking to you today in the name of the Lord. Wengine wenu ambao umeandikiwa kifo, ulienda ukapimwa kaambiwa kwamba una ukimwi na una ndawa wengine ulipimwa kamba magonjo ambayo haina ndao kamba kansa nikwambie kwa jina la Bwana Yesu Kristo raise up your faith today raise up your faith today if you believe that Jesus is able you are coming out of that in the name of the Lord I know it is not possible because many people they don't see it possible but I want to tell you in the name of the Lord it is possible just read for me the book of Matthew 19:26 what does the bible say Lord I thank you because you are mighty I am talking to someone who can be able to listen and understand today that you are going to come out of that situation if you believe in the name of the Lord. Labda hujapata mtu ambaye amekuelezea habari hizi. Lakini Bwana amenituma nije kwako nikwambie sioni huo mlima ambao unaelezewa ni mkubwa. Mimi naona mlima ulio ulio sambaratika. Sioni hiyo njia ambayo uliambiwa ni ni njia konde. Nimekuja nikwambie hiyo njia inaweza lainishwa. Nimekuja nikwambie hayo mambo uliambiwa iwezekani. Mimi kwangu naona inawezekana. It is possible. Believe in the Lord Jesus today and you are coming out of it. That problem in Jesus name. Your your neighbors will not believe it. Majirani zako hawataamini. Lakini wacha waone mabadiliko iliyo ndani yako kwa jina la Yesu. Soma. 1926 Matthew 19:26 But Jesus looked at them and said to them Na Yesu akawatanzama 
akawaambia with the men this is impossible wa, but wa, kwa wanadamu hii si rahisi but with the god all things are possible lakini kwa bwana inawezekana i want you to keep that in your mind praise the name of the lord that some of the things that you are being told that it is not possible yes it is true with the men it is not but with jesus the lord jesus it is possible Lord I thank you because you're mighty mighty one. Oh yes. Akajisemea moyoni mwake. Leo naenda kutoka kwa hiyo hali. Naongea na wewe naye nitazama, naye nisikiliza siku hii ya leo. Nikwambie chukua hatua ya kutoka kwa hiyo hali. Wengine wenu wameanza kujitayarisha jinsi ambavyo watahama Nairobi waende kule mashinani. Wengine wenu wameanza kujitayarisha na kujipanga jinsi ambavyo wataweza kufanya. Wengine wanaona kwamba watoto wao hawatarudi shule kwa sababu gani? Kwa sababu mapato yao imeondolewa, kasi imeisha biashara imevilizika imeharibika nimekuja nikwambie leo katika jina la Yesu ya kwamba Bwana ana uwezo wa kuweza kuregesha kile ulipoteza ana uwezo wa kutengeneza jengine nzuri kuliko hile ya kwanza iliyoharibiwa ana uwezo wa kuleta kitu kizuri zaidi ya kile kilivunjwa kiliharibiwa ana uwezo wa kutengeneza mawazo mazuri kuliko yale mawazo ya kwanza uliyotegemea leo nasema kwa jina la Yesu Kristo Bwana ana uwezo wa kutengeneza zaidi ya vile ulivyokuwa mbeleni in the name of the Lord Jesus pigia bwana Yesu makofi mengi pale nyumbani in the name of the Lord There is nothing impossible before the Lord. When Jesus says yes, there is nobody, none can say no. And I've come to you today because you are coming out of the situation if you believe in the Lord. You will not believe what will happen to your life. It is the same people who knows your history who are coming out with a different fashion in your life. Wale wanaojua historia yako vile ulivyokuwa mbeleni ukija kuamini Bwana ndio atakuongea na ujitayarishe wengine watasema si kawaida yes si kawaida kwa sababu kile kimetendeka kwako kwao hawajui kama kiko Huyu Yesu akileta uponyaji huyu Bwana akikubariki wewe ambao ulivinyiliwa kwa maisha wengine watasema kwamba ulienda kanunua majini unatumia meti shamba unatumia hiyo yote wataongea isi kuvunje moyo ni kwa nini ni kwa sababu tumeona madhayo 19 26 ya kwamba mambo mengine haiwezekani kwa wanadamu kwa hivyo kuinuliwa kwako hawajui kwamba inawezekana wataongea habari zote kinyume ya hiyo maana hawajui kwamba bwana anaweza praise the name of the lord jesus Thank you Jesus because you are mighty my lord. Alipokuwa anakaribia Yeriko Yesu. Hizi zote ni safari. Nisikilize vizuri. Ninaongea kwamba ukitia bidii zaidi itakupeleka kwa mafanikio yako, itakupeleka kwa kushindi, utashinda. Unashinda nini? Hiyo hali ambayo inakusumbua, unashinda nini? Hayo mambo ambayo imekuzuia. Kwa nini ikukalie? Kwa nini uimbe wimbo mmoja January to December? Kwa nini vile hali yako ilikuwa ukiwa shule bado leo wewe mtu mzima na iko hivyo? Kuna kitu kinahitajika kuchukuliwa hatua serious to come out of that. If it is not a generic curse in the family, it is because you have not been prepared, you have not been prepared to come out of that problem. Naongea na wewe. Usimbe wimbo ule ndugu yako anaimba lilishindwa. Why do you talk about your brothers wale ambao ni walevi wanakunywa zaidi? What you need to do is you yourself to come out of that spirit and kick it out of from your brothers. Uipike kutoka kwa ndugu zako na dada zako. Why are, do you want to live the same life that you've seen? Today I've come to bring Jesus near you. I have come to bring Jesus in your life so that you can he can change whatever you've been going through. And your life will never be the same again. Najua umeumbiriwa habari hizi, umeambua mambo mengi kuhusu Yesu, lakini nimekuletea vile ambavyo wewe utapokea ujumbe huu. Hivyo ndivyo maisha yako itaweza kubadilishwa, ndivyo itakavyokuwa katika jina la Yesu Kristo. Kule nyumbani pigia bwana Yesu makofi mengi. Mariki nasema, huyo mtu alikuwa hana macho. Anakaa kando ya barabara akiomba omba na kibakuri pale, akiomba fedha, angalau apate chakula chakula apate kitu cha kukula kuweka kwa tumbo yake kwa nini kwa sababu hana macho Maana 
anasema Yesu alipokuwa anakaribia Yeriko kando ya barabara mtu huyu akawa ameketi pale na ni mtu ambaye anaomba homba Saudi ya kuongea nayo nisaidieni nisaidieni lakini uwezo wa kutoka kwa hali kutoa ma, kutoka kwa hali ya kutoona hana Mariko anasema akasikia kelele za watu wakipita akauliza kuna nini leo Oh my god Akapaswa akapaswa habari ya kwamba Yesu mwana wa Daudi anapita Yesu mwana Mungu anapitia pale. Mariko anasema akapaza sauti yake akamuita Yesu mwana wa Daudi. Ni urumie. Mariko anasema akanyamazishwa. Nataka uni, unisikilize vizuri. Chochote kitu kizuri unachokitaka akikosi pingamizi. Anything that good that you want in your life it always have an opposition. Na unatakapoona opposition isikuvunje moyo wazidi kupasa sauti zidi kuinua sauti yako zidi kutenda vile hadi bwana akuone maana ni wale wale wanaokupuuza na wanaokuzuia ndio watatumika ngazi ya kukupeleka karibu na Yesu kwa jina la Yesu Kristo praise the name of the lord jesus ndiko nasema wakamnyamazisha wewe nyamasa unapigia watu kelele maana nasema jinsi yanavyo mnyamazisha ndipo alipasa zaudi zaidi akasema hapa nizuia nitahakikisha nimeonekana dear bd naongea put more efforts in what you are doing some of you now they are getting tired you can hata uwezi kuendelea na ujimbo umalize unaenda na kipengele ukiruka ruka because you know as if it is a waste of time for you awezi ukasoma hata ujumbe the whole chapter in the bible unatafuta kamstari kamoja kale kanaongea vile unataka wewe ukiona mahali kuna kukanywa na ruka hapo nani alikwambia kwamba hauna kitu cha kukanywa kwa maisha yako hiko kuna kuelekezwa kuna kukanywa kuna kuelekezwa kuna kufundishwa kuna kurejeshwa na kuna kuinuliwa wacha kuangalia kuinuliwa pekee angalia hiyo kukanywa hiyo jio meambo ziende angalia hapo sana maana labda hiyo jia ndio inazuia usinuliwe pande nyingine you have to go through the whole passage in the name of the lord jesus praise the name of the lord wengine sasa hata wakiona ubiri wa kirisha sandaka wanasema hawa watu ni bure wanataka kula pesa zetu look at how people are failing the efforts they were putting they don't watu wanakula hadi wanakula pesa za Mungu wanakula masaa ya Mungu masaa ya Bwana they don't care i'm talking about efforts where people are failing Lord I thank you because you are mine. Mariko anasema akapaza sauti zaidi. Bwana akamsikia, akasimama kwa safari aliyokuwa anaenda, akasimama. Akaangalia akasema mleteni mtu huyu. Akaenda akaletwa mtu asio na macho. Nasema leo katika jina la Yesu Kristo, tia bidii yako kutafuta uzoa Bwana. Tia bidii yako kufanya kazi ya Bwana. Tia bidii yako kuweza kutimiza makusudio ya Jehova na maisha yako haitakuwa ya kawaida. Usikubali kusimamishwa na mtu, usikubali kusuiwa na mtu yote wakati ambapo nataka kufanya kazi ya Bwana. Wakati ambapo nataka kusaidia wachungaji, wakati ambapo nataka kufanya shughuli za Bwana. Wacha kuzuiwa na watu ambao wanakupinga. Wewe tia bidii hata kama watu wakusanyika nisani endelea na kufanya kazi ya Mungu hata pale nyumbani endelea na kuabudu Mungu pale nyumbani endelea na kufanya shughuli za Mungu ukiwa nyumbani usitulie usiregee usivumzike usiache ili Bwana aweze kutembea kwako na kuinue katika jina la Yesu Kristo receive it in the name of Jesus sema amen praise the name of the lord akapaza sauti naongea na mtu ambaye siku ya leo anajua ni Jumapili Naongea na mtu ambaye anaweza kuelewa kwamba ni masaya kutafuta Bwana. Naongea na wewe ambaye unanyamazishwa kwa nyumba yako wakati ambapo unaomba, watu wanasema unapiga kelele, unawapigia kelele wakiwa wanalala. Wacha sasa kutulia kuabudu kwa sababu umeua hivyo. Wewe yaomba, inua saudi yako hata wakitaka wame hapo mbele kuna nyumba ingine na ngojia mtu wa kelele kama wewe ili uendelee na kuinua Jehova katika jina la Yesu Kristo. Praise the name of the Lord. Oh Lord I thank you because you are mighty my Lord. I worship you because you are mighty King of glory. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Masaa imefika sasa ya kusimama na msimamo mmoja wa Bwana. Msimamo mmoja wa kumuinua Jehovah 
katika jina la Yesu Kristo na maisha yako haitakuwa ya kawaida naongea na wewe alipokuwa akajisemea moyoni ya kwamba nikiguza vasi la Yesu aliondoka na uponyaji walipofika wakakuta nyumba imejaa wakapata wakapanda juu ya faa wakatoboa shimo aliondoka akiwa mzima alipokuwa kando ya barabara akapiga kelele na akapaza sauti zaidi akusikiliza wenye kupinga aliondoka na macho yake naongea na wewe katika jina la Yesu Kristo ambayo napingwa kumtafuta kuona endelea na kumuinua Jehova wacha wapi kelele lakini utakapopata msahata wa Bwana ni wao watakuja kukuuliza mawaidha katika jina la Yesu Kristo naongea na mtu ambaye amekwama ninakwambia katika jina la Yesu msaada wako huko kwa Jehova wacha kusikiliza mawaidha ya uongo it is only Jesus who is going to lift you it is Jesus who is going to lift you it is Jesus who is going to bless you it is Jesus who is going to heal you it is Jesus who is going to promote you it is Jesus who is going to increase you in the name of the Lord Jesus praise the name of the Lord I say you are coming out of that situation today. If you believe in this word, I want to tell you in the name of the Lord Jesus, you are coming out of that situation. You are coming out of that situation in the name of the Lord. I am going to pray with you today and I know the Lord has sent me to change your life. The Lord has sent me to change your life. The Lord has come tell me to change your life. If you believe today, you are coming out of that situation in the name of the Lord Jesus. Any sickness which has ever been tormenting your life is going to disappear from you. Any kind of failure that has ever managed to get used unto you is going to disappear from you any failure that has ever been uh, sitting on your life uh, is going to ch- get out of you in the name of the Lord Jesus uh, every delay that has ever been racing against your life uh, is going to disappear from you today in the name of the Lord Jesus uh, you are coming out as a victorious person uh, you are coming out as a different person uh, it is the opposition the people have been opposing you the Lord is going to make them to be messengers uh, to give the message of good news about your life in the name of the Lord Jesus let us have your hands today hapo nyumbani niombe kono yako nataka kuachilia neno la Bwana juu ya maisha yako kama wewe ni mgonjwa nasema leo unaondoka kwa hiyo gonjwa katika jina la Yesu sitaki kujali nani amekuletea mandao sitaki kujali ni shindano gapi umedungwa lakini leo nasema kwa jina la Yesu Kristo wewe ugonjwa unajijua kwa jina yako ninakulaani kwa jina la Yesu ondoka kwa hiyo nyumba right now in the name of the Lord go to the pit of darkness in Jesus name Samai ba Yes Oh Lord I thank you Father I give you praise The beggar The beggar Aliyekuwa mwombaji akaondoka na macho yake zile shughuli ziliokuwa zinafanya na wengine waliona macho wakaanza kufanya mkeka aliozoea kuketi kukalia kando ya barabara ikabaki kuwa kumbukumbu nasema leo kwa jina la Yesu Kristo mwana Mungu hiyo hali ambayo umezoea kukaa ndani yake leo unaondoka leo kwa jina la Bwana Yesu ukiwa pale nyumbani nisikilize vizuri hatua ya kwanza ni dhabihu zako kuzituma kwa Mungu sikubalike Atua ya pili ni kujiunganisha na ule ujumbe na hilo neno vile imesemwa na kusema that is me. I want you to listen to this is very important. Nasema atua ya kwanza it is to send your offering it is a, a, a seed of divine connection to the message that you feel that content is coming to my life. Number one. Number two it is to connect your faith gently with the message and the word as the way it is being spoken to your life. Number three it is to continue conversing positive making sure that message does not disappear from your mind hata ukiamka jioni unasema niliambiwa na huyo mhubiri kwamba nimepona nimeambiwa na huyo mhubiri kuanzia leo maskini umeisha utaona jia imeanza kutengenezwa ya kuleta kile kilikuwa kinakosekana so the way you conduct yourself towards the message that is how you are going to bring a change in your life praise the name of the lord jesus Your offering is very important to God. Very important. Your conversion is very important. The way you converse, you speak, you say about the message you have heard. It means a lot in your life. That is how it brings change in you. 
vile ambavyo utazungumza ujumbe huu umekuja kwako hivyo ndivyo ule ujumbe utakuwa na uwezo wa kuleta mabadiliko lakini ukiupuza na kuongea kinyume na vile amneno limesungumzwa basi utakuta kwamba ile hali na mea mizizi inakuwa na nguvu zaidi ya vile ilivyokuwa mbeleni ule uwezo wa kudingiza ume reject oh yes Nimemuona bwana Maisha ni mwango Nimemuona bwana Maisha ni mwango Nimemuona Nimemuona bwana Maisha ni mwango Nimemuona bwana Maisha ni mwango Nimemuona Nimemuona bwana Maisha ni mwangu Nimemuona bwana Maisha ni mwangu oh, Nimemuona Nimemuona bwana Maisha ni mwangu Nimemuona bwana Aisha oh katika ibada zangu nimemuona bwana nimemuona maisha ni mwangu nimemuona nimemuona bwana maisha ni mwangu oh katika safari yangu nimemuona bwana maisha ni mwangu nimemuona bwana Maisha ni mwangu katika safari yangu nimemuona bwana Maisha ni mwangu nimemuona bwana Maisha ni mwangu leo natangaza kwa maisha yako ukamuone bwana kwa maisha yako ukamuone bwana kwa jia yako Ukamuone Bwana kwa nyumba yako leo katika jina la Yesu. Kuna mtu ambaye ninaongea naye pale nyumbani, wewe mzazi ambaye una shaka na watoto wako. Nimekuja leo ni kuambia unamuona Bwana kwa maisha ya watoto wako leo katika jina la Yesu. Napoenda kumaliza kipindi hiki, ninaenda kuomba na wewe na maisha yako itakuwa ya kawaida katika jina la Yesu. Chukua hiyo namba ambayo nakutumia pale, tuma sandaka yako na Bwana atakubariki. Ninaweza nikakupenda nikaongea mambo yote mazuri lakini Bwana anataka kuona hatua zile ambazo unaenda kuchukua baada ya hii vile ambavyo we mwenyewe utajielekeza kumbuka ya kwamba ni mama alitembea akaingia katikati ya umati sio Yesu alienda kwake alitoka mwenyewe akatembea akaingia katikati ya umati akagusa vazi la Yesu ni huyo mtu ambaye hana macho alibebwa akaletwa mahali Yesu amesimama sio Yesu alienda hadi mahali ameketi ni huyo mtu ambaye halipazua akatoboa faa akaenda mahali Yesu amesimama sio Yesu alisema nifungulieni jua niende kwa mlango naona mtu ambaye amelazwa pale mgonjwa so jipeleke kwa Jehova leo na dhabihu zako na maono yako kile ulicho nacho jipeleke kwa Bwana nacho na Bwana ataweza kukuinua na kukuponya katika jile chukua hiyo namba 0725 87 Narudia tena 0725 Mpesa namba Utakapo tuma thabiyo yako utaona nimekutumia ujumbe hapo Ninaweza nika kupigia simu nikaongea na wewe na nikaomba na wewe ama nikakutumia ujumbe nikaenda na wewe kwa ujumbe kwa jia SMS vile nitasikia roho ya Mungu akinielekeza kisikia nikupigie nitakupigia simu tu nitaongea na wewe tu mambo machache na ninajua ya kwamba kuna kitu kitafanyika kwa maisha yako katika jina la Yesu Kristo take this very serious because i know the lord is coming to do great things in your life i am not guessing i know Diposa nikasema nimemuona Bwana na leo namleta huyo Bwana kwako muone utamuona kwa jia gani fuata maagizo yale nakupatia na maisha yako haitakuwa ya kawaida in the name of the Lord Jesus pigia Bwana Yesu makofi mengi